Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here. I just wanted to make a quick video where I highlight some of the gear that I think is really nice to have laying around when it comes to making various projects. To me, nothing is worse than having to run to the hardware store when you're in the middle of a build. Now, I call these my top five DIY essentials and they're listed in no particular order. So let's go ahead and get started with my first pick being 100% clear silicone. I like to get this stuff in these 10 ounce tubes that are meant to be used in a caulking gun rather than buying the typical and much smaller cap tubes that you find at the aquarium store. As long as it's 100% silicone, there shouldn't be any differences. Using the caulking gun makes it easier to create smooth lines and really helps when you have a lot of area to cover. We use silicone in tons of the projects we've covered and it's always nice to have a few extra tubes of it laying around. Next up is Teflon tape. When you're threading pieces together that will be outside of the aquarium, Teflon tape can really come in handy. It's going to help ensure a watertight seal in cases where you don't want to use or don't have PVC cement. Lots of times, all a connection needs is some tape to stop an annoying leak. Next are these liquid type fittings that look and work similar to bulkheads. Now these are one of my all time favorite pieces to use in DIY projects. I came across these one day in the electrical fitting section of Home Depot and literally bought $100 worth of them. They're by far one of the most handy pieces I use. Similar to a bulkhead, this piece has a rubber seal and a plastic nut that threads down to help ensure a watertight seal. Another huge perk of this piece is that it has a hose fitting on the opposite side. This enables you to securely connect tubing and get really creative with your projects. Next, we have a random assortment of PVC connectors and threaded hose adapters. The most annoying thing to me is realizing I'm just a few pieces short when I'm trying to make something new. Having a stash of different PVC elbows, caps, and threaded hose adapters is really convenient. I suggest designating a box and keeping a bunch of these pieces in one place so you always know where to go to find the parts you need. And last but not least, we have the cordless electric drill. I really recommend this Ryobi cordless drill. I've had it for a little over three years now and it's my best project friend. Pretty much every DIY video we have uses this drill and many more will feature this guy. You can get a drill with two batteries, a charger, and a case for pretty reasonable price at your big box hardware store, but Amazon does sell refurbished drill combos for a lot cheaper. Now obviously this is just a small list of items, but more important pieces can be found in the projects part section of the site. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.